Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to Undead Unluck Episode 3. And in the last episode, we bumped into our first couple members from the Union, and so we came up with the idea to join the Union. Now, the problem is the fact that the Union only has a certain number of seats open, so we have to either wait until some people left or get rid of them ourselves. So we took out one of the members, which opened up one seat, but there's two of us, so now we gotta find a second member to take out, and one of the original members that we met ended up telling us about another member that is going to be traveling to this place that's like halfway across the world. So we have to meet them there, take them down, and then we can claim their spot finally. So can we do it in this episode? Guess we'll just have to watch and find out. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. While you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also do not forget that over on the Patreon, there are a bunch of bonuses. The main one being that if you head on over and join the $2 tier, then you get access to all of my uncut reactions. But with that all out of the way, let's get into this episode. Is this the like council room for the union? Union Isolation Facility. This is weird. Oh! Happy birthday, Gino? Is that what it says? Wait, so does this mean that he used to be a part of the facility? A part of the union? That's interesting. I wouldn't be surprised, though, because he has been alive for hundreds of years. Even though he is immortal, I'm sure he would have been captured by now, unless... You know, he was a part of the Union. I couldn't quite tell what um, her name was, because it was written in blood, and it was like cursive or something. Was it Gino or Jean? And she's watching us. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what is she doing under the table? Or chair? Whatever that is? I mean, she's not wrong. They are spying on them. Oh my god. I didn't see if he, like, you know, touched her legs. I think he was, uh, touching the pants. So I don't know if this is the bad luck or not. Yeah, because she can't control what happens. A giant shark could come up from underwater and just eat the whole boat. Oh, yep, yep, we saw this last episode. Parts bullet. That's when he used his finger as a gun. That part was sick. Whoa! So he has the unbreakable ability. Experimented on me. And nabbed me. Whoa, that's sick! And that explains- holy crap, that's so strong! And his body couldn't regrow, because of the invisible shield. Dang, her power is cool! I'm just like imagining all the possibilities. Uh, who's steering the boat? <laughs> well, I guess it's nothing but open water, so... <laughs> this dude, man. Shameless. He didn't deny it at all. Oh! The only man in this world that I was able to love. Oh! Wait, so this explains what that whole, like, crack in the sky and stuff was all about. And she, it looks like she's, yeah, wedged down there, too. Oh, no! Okay, okay. I was about to say it. He was talking about her legs being wedged. I thought he just chopped them off. Like, uh, you know hers can't grow back, right? How the heck is the boat floating? That sounds dumb outside of context, but... <laughs> given what we're seeing here, it makes sense. Oh, 
<laughs> Why is he so happy to surrender? Oh, he's got a plan, that's why. I love how she has her hands up and he's just throwing up the double P signs. I, I don't like the sound of this. What the heck? Oh, okay, okay, fair. Wait. Wait, so does that mean... Oh, this isn't good. Don't tell me this is the giant shark. Oh. What the heck are the odds, though? And he landed right on the plane. Repair boost. Oh! What the heck? Are we, are we in Demon Slayer now? That is sick. Like I said, I love anime where characters have a power, but they find a ton of like creative ways to use it. I never would have expected that someone that just had immortality powers could do everything that he's doing. That was sick though, that straight up looked like one of Tanjiro's water breathing moves. A new means of travel, and faster too. We just got a free ride. She's so embarrassed now. I don't even blame her. Alright. So we should be in Russia soon. What? <laughs> this must have been like remote activated. One thing I feel like you gotta love about Andy is that he just goes with the flow, man. He's never stressed, never worried. The plane he's flying in is about to self-destruct. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh god. That was terrible. Oh my god. This is Russia. Lake Baikal. Oh man, are we getting the classic anime beach episode here? Yeah, enjoy it while you're here. Also, what the heck are these? Well, I guess this is a lake and not a beach necessarily. Cause so I was about to say, why is everybody wearing like freaking pants and jackets? Wait, they have actual Russian in here. Oh, important character incoming. Oh, this is her! She's just chilling down here. How'd she get here so fast, by the way? Wasn't she just in outer space? <laughs> what the heck? I wonder what her goal is here, man. Clearly she's not just here to paint. Maybe this is all just an act? <laughs> now she's convinced. I like her energy, man. If she wasn't the bad guy, this would be pretty cool. But now I'm just, you know, suspicious of her. Or maybe this is just some weird coincidence and this is like her twin sister or something. I doubt it though. Oh, she knows. No, no, no. Oh, that's such a- oh man. That's such a good cover up. I could see them being good friends. It's night time, everyone's gone now. Let's see if she keeps up the facade. Oh no. Oh, dang! 
That's almost one to one. Outside of the stars. Hmm. Now this leads me to believe that they actually are in like a dome or something. Because these guys don't even know what stars are. I think she's gonna say she likes change. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it started off so wholesome. And now look at it. But that's how you know she cares about him, man. If he's able to get her riled up like this, just from her thinking about him. Oh, here comes the reveal. Look at this. Walking on water. How, wait, her voice changed. <laughs> oh, the invisible barrier. What? Dude. Oh, my God. This is exactly what I said earlier. About, like, how cool it is. Like, how I was thinking of all the different possibilities of what she can do. Didn't work. Daddy dearest. I like that. <laughs> oh no. Oh! So, is everything a fake? Like, is her face fake too? Or was that just for comedic effect? This is so cool, man. An invisible staircase? I'm not gonna lie, she might have the coolest power so far. <laughs> Look, he came strapped up. <laughs> He's got the grenades. Let's see. To be continued! What a cliffhanger, man! I wasn't ready for that. Oh my god, dude, this episode felt so short. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be what are your thoughts on this new character's power? I don't know if they ever, like, outwardly said her name yet. I know he wrote it on the wall in that flashback, but again, I couldn't read exactly what it said. I don't know if it said Gino, Gene, whatever. I don't know what her name is exactly. But what are your thoughts on her power? Let me know in the comment section down below. And with that, I am going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.